welcome to my channel which is all about helping you and your pet live the best life together. Today I just wanted to give a little update on some of my pets that I haven't made a video of recently. So I'm going to be doing a little update and take you on my regular kind of weekly maintenance and what I do for my dart frogs, my geckos, and my turtles. So you'll be able to see kind of the water change and a little bit of the feeding and some of the cleaning that I do on a weekly basis. I also just want to let you know that I have named my two stink pot turtles or musk turtles that I made a video on a few months ago when I first got them. So they are doing really well and I'm hoping that they're male and female. So I wanted to name them kind of like a couple or a duo kind of name. So I decided to name them Mickey and Minnie just because they're really tiny and they're really cute and I just thought that would be a fun name. So I'm going to start with my red-eared slider turtle and then I'll move on to the dart frogs and the geckos. I also have two empty tanks now or I will be having two empty tanks pretty soon and I'll show you those and let me know below in the comments if you have any suggestions about what I should do with them. So they're both two small exoterras so the only thing that I can think that can stay in a tank so small are probably dart frogs but let me know below in the comments if you can think of anything. I'm looking for suggestions or just ideas about what can fit in a small exoterra. So here is where I keep my frogs and turtles. The lights aren't on yet. The first thing I'm going to do is start the water change in the red ear slider tank. So I got this python and I just put it on a hose and it goes right into the tank. It makes my life so much easier. I used to do buckets and oh, well, this is just unbelie unbelievably easy. So I just turn it on and it drains. So here is my turtle. And I'm just going to drain the water. I do a pretty big water change just because turtles, they're really dirty and it just, I've never had a problem. I've been doing it this way for for four or so years and big water change is just always the best way to go. I do this once a week and when it's done I just switch the python into um, fill and I start to fill the tank. The turtle is really really cute. She loves um, the fresh water coming in and she will often like sit under it and just let the bubbles or the stream of water hit her, hit her shell. So she always comes, checks out what's going on. I always have to really be careful with the temperature to make sure that it matches, especially since she loves to sit under and feel the pressure of the water. Here she's coming. Something I also like to do is I have this um, thermometer on the side and I'll let the hose run over top of the thermometer just to make sure that I'm getting the right temperature and once I know that I have the right temperature I can move it away or sometimes I'll just leave it depending how interested she is in the water and if she wants it running on her or not. As I said, she always goes and checks it out. Loves the bubbles.
she'll also often just close her eyes and enjoy the fresh water. I think it's so cute. So now that the tank is full, I start to do my second tank. So this is a 90 gallon tank and I'm going to clip this off and take it to my 30 gallon. We have our little helper Penny. Now I'm draining the 30 gallon, joined by our second helper Millie. So while I do the 30 gallon, this one, I always, once a week, have to, I just take a toothbrush and scrape the glass because this tank has a lot of algae. Um, I'm not sure why it gets more algae, I think just because it's smaller. It's the, from the, the light for the turtles, but the other light, I guess because of the basking platform on the other tank, this one has a different platform so it gets more light into the water. And then when I fill it, I just like to put the hose on the ramp and the platform so it's not a stream, a heavy stream that will mess up the moss and the sand. It's more smooth, steady fill. And the turtles always love it. They're kind of hard to see right now with all the bubbles from the fresh water. So the turtles have been doing great. These are my newest addition. They're about three or so months old now that I've had them. And they're a lot of fun. They're so cute. And there I'm just checking up on my Ready or Slider. She's gone up on the basking platform after the water change, which is her usual routine. Spends quite a bit of time up there. And after the hose is rolled up and put away, we've got Millie helping. So next I get a damp cloth and just wipe down the glass, the inside glass on my frog tanks because they just get dirty with kind of like splats of water droplets and soil and I just like to keep it clean so I can see in nicely and it's just a, looks better. So I have four, um, four tanks with dart frogs, two are 30 gallons and two are exoterras. One is, I don't know the size, a large and one is a small, I think. This is the other 30 gallon, so I just wipe it down. These, they are originally fish tanks, so I have to access them from the top, so they're a bit harder. And after that, I mix up my food for my geckos. I have three electric blue day geckos and one gold dust day gecko, hoping to get a second female soon. So here are my electric blues, the male, and two females. And they're going to get an upgrade to a bigger tank. They're just in a small exoterra right now. And I have an empty exoterra, so I'm trying to think of what I want to do with that. Now I'm going to have two empty ones because they're getting their upgrade. And then I give everyone a mist. So all the frogs and the geckos get a good spray, a good mist. These are my little thumbnail dart frogs. And I just, after misting them, I feed them the flies. So these are fruit flies. And 
these little guys is not always easy to get. A good picture of them, they, they're they quick and they're quite shy. They hide a lot, so this is some pretty good film of them, one of the best that I've taken. And there's my other, so I just have two of these little guys. And they're in the small Exoterra. And then I also have this, it's a large excuse mess, but I'm, this is where I'm going to put the electric blue day geckos. They're going to be going in there. I'm going to have to take, this is how I got it, it was second hand. I'm going to take everything out of here and completely make a new background and completely change it. So I'll have a video, it's going to take me a long time, something like this usually takes a month or more. So it'll be quite a while before that video goes up but I'll definitely be showing you. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.